All right. Gen 3 versus Gen 5. Um, the Gen 5 is a much more efficient blower than the Gen 3. It actually makes uh, the same power as a Gen 3 on at, at probably one or two pulley sizes bigger than a Gen 3. So that just goes to show you how, how much better it is. Um, a lot of guys say you can port out a Gen 3 really well and uh, get it as efficient as a Gen 5. Me personally, I think it'd be very tough uh, to match a Gen 5 in efficiency with a Gen 3, but uh, you can get pretty close. Um, that being said, I don't want to spend four or five hundred bucks on a Gen 5 with a lower intake and all of that. And so I took off my Gen 3 and we did some port work. I've got a LS1 throttle body here, and this is the adapter plate. And what I did is I poured it out the inlet first to match. Uh, so after a few hours, this is what I've got. And it's a straight through shot there. As you can see. Let me turn this light on. Let's see here. And uh, nice and smooth. You can literally take my fingernail and go up and down the edges without my finger getting stuck or disrupted and that's what the air wants to do it's really going to help lower the, the temperature of the blower and uh, make it more efficient so that's ported out to 75 millimeters there at least 75 millimeters um, so that's going to help a ton. Down in the inside, you see it, but it looks kind of choppy. It's not, and you don't want it to be choppy. That's actually uh, just carbon deposits left over that I couldn't really get when I ported it. That's what you see there. And of course, it's not polished yet. Down here, I did the outlet. Uh, what I did is opened it up into a big triangle shape rather than the arrow shape that it was. Uh, it was ported before, but I didn't do a heck of a job, so I, I just went and uh, I gave it a little TLC, and I actually, uh, now that I'm looking at it, I want to port it out here in this corner a little more to match how far down that corner comes. But you pretty much want to open that up into a big triangle. Uh, the top of this, the peak of this triangle stopped about here. Uh, I pulled it up maybe a quarter inch to there and you don't want to pour it too much because then you start to lose efficiency. Uh, here on the silencer supports and on the edge of the triangle actually went on a kind of a downward inward angle to uh, help open that up and obviously I knocked out a, a, a lot of this big chunk here and I've still got to blend it smooth everything out it's a little choppy but that's going to help a whole lot really easy job just don't get too carried away just make a big triangle it ain't that hard um, I've got I just ordered a W body store belt wrap system how that works is uh, there's a big shaft that comes out and there's a kind of like a second tensioner pulley that sits here that helps wrap the belt all the way around uh, it bolts onto the to the snout here and kind of just and I'll get a video of it it's pretty neat and I've, uh, I've got a 2.6 pulley coming I ordered a 2.6 from ZZP and a little later on this week Maybe tomorrow we're machining this snout down so I can get a smaller pulley than the 2.8 on here. So, and that's what we're doing. Yep. So, hopefully we'll see if this, uh, I see some gains out of it. Great mod to do. It'll really help your, uh, your blower set up. If you don't, uh, if you don't have the money or feel like spending four or five hundred bucks on the Gen 5 setup.